Trước mạo ấy Mày dễ con Con, cơ bôi Yeah, that's roughly Roughly 24 inches What's that in feet image without? Just energise myself up So for anyone who has kindly and um, for any of you out there who have watched my barbecue video, my barbecue video and my sandy clam video, I can't remember which one he's in, um, this is my koi carp Tanji, um, or Tanj, or his full name is Tangerine, Tangerine Koya the second, and she's not a second, he's a first, so, but it sounds better when I said the second because then if it's the first then, you know, you've still just got one name, anyway. Um, so he is 19 years old, let's get the facts first, he's 19 years old, um, actually are you, are you 20 this year? I think he might be 20, was he in 2020? Because I don't, I could never wrote down the actual date of when I actually got him, um, along with some other coirs, um, but I think it was around 2000 or 2001, um, do I usually say 2000? Maybe, maybe you might, I think you're 20 this year, let's say he's 20, blimey. Jeez, I'm on the mother of a 20 year old, can you believe it? Anyway, he started out being this this big or so. Um, in fact, I've got the um, the Fish Family album, bear with. Um, the Fish Family album, I'm going to get that in my camera shot. Ah, that, that's, that's his two pals there that he ended up living with. There's Tanji in the corner here. Look how tiddly he is, look how tiddly. Compared to how big he is now, also there's a coloration of fish change over the years. So he hasn't got as much black in his body and tail, as you can see. And these are his two pals. That's Moonbeam, or Mooney, as I called him, and Peppermint, or PM. Um, Peppermint died about a decade ago, I'd say. Um, and then Moonbeam only died in the last year or so. Um, so these two grew up together for like 10 years. And they all grew up together from little babies, bless them. Um, Peppermint actually died of a tumour in his um, abdomen, I think. <clears throat> um, he had a growth and he died in my arms, bless him. Um, and there's more little baby pictures of them swimming around in a tank that was so, <laughs> I mean, they really are so small in that. And it was quite a small tank that compared to the one I've got now. That's the fish family album. There's my two little pictures of, of my, my coirs when they were younger. You've been right on your own though, haven't you? Taking up all the, you can have all the space now. You can have all the space of the tank. Um, so as I said, let's say he's 20 years old, okay? Um, and he, I measured him as you, you saw in the little clip. I measured him, he's about 24 inches long, which is about two foot, pretty much two foot. <clears throat> um, so he's, he's quite a big boy. Fish grow to the capacity of their tank. So if I got a bigger tank for him, one, it would cost fortune. <laughs> um, and two, um, he'd grow even bigger than that. And, and also coirs live for 45 years. So I've got at least another 25 years, fingers crossed, with him. And if I have kids, they'd be like, Oh, Mummy, you've had this coil for so long, haven't you? I'm like, yes, kids, I've had this coil for so long. I, I'm, when I become a professional successful actress, it will happen, um, and, and be paid a fortune, obviously, I will be getting him a bigger tank and probably some more friends, to be fair. Um, I have dreams of having, like, loads of aquariums around my house um, when I get one of my own, my dream house. Um... So I will be hopefully getting him one of them. And let's just say I will get him. Yeah, it's just like I'll become a professional actress, I will get another big, bigger koi tank. It's fine. Um, I do have other fish, so I might, I might cut in a little bit about them later. But this is mainly about Tanji because he's quite, he's quite a personality. He's got a lot of personality. Like all my friends and family know about my my koi Tanji or my koiers. Um, some people say that he should be in a pond, but I've raised him from when he was a baby in a tank, and he's used to it, and he likes company i think it, he would die of shock if he went out in a pond to be fair um just the shock of having the black edges and having nothing to look at it would just freak him out and I, I, i'd miss him as well on the selfish part i'd miss him but at the same time i think it would shock him to death um and he, he like he's very friendly as well i can hand feed him i'll show you that as well i need to cut clips of that i hand feed him he's very like loving him he's mm -hmm. kissy kissy mm -hmm. oh. Get a little closer look at Tanji there. Tanji! Oh, wait till he comes back around. Oh, in the meantime, let's just look at his big, his big fish food thing. My tri I'm trying to navigate my tripod. Hold on. It, yeah, I'm going to intercut this bit. That is his massive fish food that he shares with my two littler ones next door. I'll have to talk about them later. 
I managed to get a 25 litre bag because of, of lockdown and, and more, the worry of lockdown, not being able to get fish food and go to the garden centre and the fish um, fish centres and stuff like that. I ended up ordering a massive 25 litre bag. I usually have about 15 litre, but he has his mixed food in there and his balls. Where's his ball packet? Well, that's superior mix. He loves his coil balls. Oh, more running out of them. i get some more of them. Now the, now the fish centres are open now. He has a couple of them a day. He likes them. Oh. Love you. Actually, while he's sitting there, it reminds me, he does like to put his butt in the bubbles. Um, these bubble machines at the back here, he likes to put his butt. I'm going to move this 25 litre bag. Can Look at me, tripod! Because it's, it's arm day! Oh, flick me, Nick! Yeah. And also, his big butt, he likes fish like digging in gravel. Is he going to dig in gravel for me on, on cue? No, he'll dig in a minute. Um, fish like digging in gravel, and he does. Um, because he's got a big mouth, like his mother. Um, he does like end up swallowing some of the gravel. It's okay because he poops it out. I've seen it. Poop I've seen him poop it out. And when I when I squeeze him and give him a cuddle, when I clean him, I can feel the gravel in his belly, his big belly. And speaking of cleaning, it takes us about two hours to a jaunty double angler. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> double fish. Is oh my god! It's only his tail. Only his tail is moving. Where's his head? He's got two filters going in here because coils are quite dirty and he's got a lot of water and that in there. Um, so he's got two big filters running under the... I might, I might give a little shot of them under there. And he's got a big air, air um, purifier machine that puts the bubbles through. So he has plenty of oxygen in there. Clean the filters. Empty the water. Clean the gravel with the pipe that, pull, that pulls out the water. A little pump we've got that sucks the gravel up into buckets. And we have to manually take it outside into the garden. And then you have to fill it up again and clean the glass as well. While, while the water's empty, empty it to about, well, just throw it so it's sitting on his on his top there. He's used to it, he's had like 20 years of us cleaning him, he's fine with it. Um, but there's a lot of maintenance, it costs quite a lot to keep this, this running. <laughs> it's fine because he's worth it, bless him. Um, so let's move on to, I think I've, have I covered everything? Let me just check my notes. Let's feed him a ball for example, shall we? I'll show you that. Oh, the cat wants attention now. Hey, good boy. Hello. Meow. Meow. Oh, she wants to go out. So, Paul's. This is aqua safe, and it keeps the tap water safe, as you can see on the case. So you have to have that to protect the fish. Oh, digging the gravel after having your balls, eh? Hey? Good boy. so cute he's like melodically staying in the same spot he's like mesmerized anyway so while he's doing that let's go under here these are all the fish filter sponges well they cost a fortune that's the smaller one this is the bad boy yeah this is the buckets we fill up the tank with and empty the tank out with a lot of um, sponges and um, brushes and stuff in there to clean with. Yeah, because look, that's the bad boy. There's a small one, he has to have two going. He basically digs these big craters as well. And you see the crater edges, it sort of goes down in a slope. Yeah. Where he can put his chin. There's his big belly full of gravel. Poops it out. Oh, <coughs> butt shot. I've got one handheld now. Oh, look, here she comes. Where is she? Where is she? I can't get the camera. Oh, there. Oh. For attention as well, are we? Yeah. Meow. Meow, 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 In a video about Tanji, Mama. Bear with. Yeah, where was I? Oh, yes. That's, uh, so that's my video about Tanji, roughly about him. Um, if I think of anything else, I might do another little video, but that was quite nice. It's a nice, nice tribute to him, because he is, like, getting on. Bless him. No jinx, right? But he was funny in the video, even my mum laughed and people were commenting saying he was a funny camera hog. And he is a funny fish. See people, unless you have fish, you don't actually understand, they do have personalities and feelings and they do mourn for their friends that die and stuff, so... Um, oh, my other fish, wasn't it? Sorry, bubbers. I forgot about you two. I was going to add a little intercut with you two, weren't I? These are actually a boyfriend and girlfriend. 
actually, am I, that's official. As soon as I got them, they were sort of, he was all over it. He's, he's a he. And you can tell male fish, because they get white spots on their gills where they breathe. Um, and female fish don't. So that's, that's Bubble, named by my friend Lisa. Um, I call her Bubaloo, really. <laughs> and that's her boyfriend, Blackie. And they live next door to Tangier. Oh, look, there he is. He, oh, look, he knows I'm filming someone else. He's getting jealous. So they, they can actually, there's a little glass gap. They can actually see each other. So they do look in at each other. So we're not entirely lonely. I'm usually here all the time anyway, especially in lockdown, more often. And Bubble actually, she's got half a mouth, bless her. The top half, like, got a disease and withered away. So she's only got the bottom half, bless her. But she's happy enough. Especially she's got a man in her life. That makes one of us. <laughs> kissy, kissy. Oh, my cap's in the way. Forget it. So I think that lockdown is, um... My cheek. <laughs> so I think lockdown is, is proving to all of us what matters in life. Um, and all pets are precious to us and family. They are, they are family members, basically. Um, whether they're fish or, or cats, dogs, birds. I really want a bird. Um, or anything. Any animal. You stick insects, spiders, lizards, whatever. But well, they're, they're all part of our family, no matter what they are. We've got that common interest. Hello. <laughs> Animals are better than people, really, a lot of the time. They don't judge you. They love you unconditionally. They're just happy to be alive, and I think more of us should take that from our, our animals and use that in our in our day to day lives. Anyway, so I'll stop rambling on. So if you if you want to like look at my, the rest of my videos, I'm probably doing some other videos about animals and stuff like that. Then do check out the rest of the videos on my YouTube page, and don't forget to share and subscribe. Okay, that's it. That's what I'm going to say on that. So love you, Tange. Say bye. Blip, 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 blip. That's him saying goodbye.